One of the most sought after titles of the season at the Robertson Holden International Speedway is the Robin Pratt Memorial Trophy. One driver in particular lists winning the Robin Pratt Memorial as the must-do event of the year. Peter Rees has had his name on that trophy several times, often back to back. Well, the, Rob the Robin Pratt's on tonight. Yes. Um, have you have you got the name of the trophy yet, or are you going uh, for the first time? I got second in my first year. I uh, think that might be about it, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, the big news is, of course, uh, we're running the New Zealand Stock Car Championships in Palmerston North. Yep. Being a local driver on a local track, is that an advantage? I'd say it would help, yes. Uh, we had a lot of practice throughout the year to get onto it for that meeting, and that's probably what most of the people here are striving for. Um, it would be hard. It would be hard. It's going to be a big numbers. It's going to be hard to even just qualify. Qualifying is going to be the big thing, but yes. with a bit of luck, there should be a lot of Palmy cars in the final. Yes, even a, bit of, a lot of luck, yes. A lot of luck. Mm. Now, obviously, this is going to be your second night tonight. You're running in the Robin Pratt. Um, it's it's going to be a tough ask to get there tonight because there's a, a lot of cars come. There's a few Wellington cars come as well. Um, you've got a family background in the sport, though, eh? I do, yeah. I have two uncles that race and a grandfather that race. So you have really no option but to get into stock cars one way or the other, right? Yeah, <laughs> it was in the blood. So how do the guys treat you as being one of the very few female drivers? Um, I don't see, they see me as anything different, but yeah, we'll soon see. If so. you're in the way, they'll treat you like anybody else, right? Well, I hope not. <laughs> All right, Georgia, well, good luck. It's thank a you. Robin Pratt tonight. Hey, who knows? You might do really, really well. Well, thank you. All right, well, good luck. Flag up, flag down. Time to go racing. Ten laps in the first qualifying heat. And it's the 32 showing out first. It'll be George Freer. Tankers, tankers everywhere. At the end of lap number one, it's Mike Gaskin who's going to lead it by Georgie Freer's second. Gavin Canipar. Then we go back to 99, Ron Ty, Tiana's boss. Then the 194, the red tank of Peter Rees' car of last year. Then we've got Brett Lloyd, Alex Wilson, Ike Haitapu, William Humphreys, 3NZ, sitting at 10th at the moment. Here we are, up over the start finish line, Gaskin, and uh, right in the wall is Uncle Ron. Mike Gaskin, 5T, is your race leader. Ron Ty up in the second, Gavin Tannifar, Brad Powell, Josh Parks, Giannis Boss, in the 194, the red tank of Peter Rees' car of last year. That's Gaskin, Ty, Gavin Tannifar, Giannis Boss, Wilson, William Humphreys up into sixth. One lap, he picks up another four places. So still Gaskin, Humphreys up into second. He's on a charge. Start at midfield. And William Humphreys, the race leader, around pit bend. But he would have 50, 60 metres maybe. Maybe 70 on William Humphreys. Gavin Tannifar, Giannis Boss. Can he get his best result of the season? Number eight, they got two to run in the evening sun as they sprint out of turn four. And the race lead's got a pretty clear track at the moment. The gas can help me tell you, John Parker, fastest man out there. 20.2241. And so it'll be the white flag for Matthew McKeeman this time round. And maximum points will be going to my gasket at the moment. Humphreys has certainly narrowed the gap, but uh, he's going to run out of laps to do it. Out of turn four, run and gun to the flag. Well, I guess it is. Takes maximum points. He's pretty happy about that. Second home will be William Humphreys, a very, very good driver in the middle of the pack. Third will be Gavin Tannifar, Josh Parks, and
fast lady from Wellington, a famous name when you talk stock cars, Marlias. James Marlia, her young brother, races, of course. You go back to family dynasty. So George Marlia, Darren Lowe, Jeff Harris, we go to Greg Powell. Well, 127P is Ethan Rees. Now, there's a bit of a history with the Rees family. I mean, goodness me, you've got Asher, you've got Peter the dad, and, of course, you've got uh, Ethan. And Ethan started off in mini stocks. Mate, um, it's a step up from mini stocks into stock cars, but around your place, it doesn't seem to be a step up because it's speedway all the time, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit of a step up for me, but for Dad, it's probably just as usual, eh? But, yeah, no, it's a big step up for me, and, um, yeah. So what's your plans for the season? First year into stock cars, 127p. What do you what do you want to achieve by the end of the uh, end of the season? Uh, I'd like to make the man of two minors at the end of the year and just go, go team racing for the first year. And but yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it. Have, have fun this season and get used to it, and then eventually make the step up to super stocks. The big um, well, of course, super stock is on the way too for you. Apparently, apparently Santa Claus is bringing that around yeah, Christmas. Yeah, Christmas here. time. Yeah, Santa's coming back for me. So yeah. <laughs> Now, there's a big difference between stepping up from mini stocks into stock cars. What, what's the biggest part of that? Oh, the biggest part I was worried about was the hitting. But that's probably the biggest part. And the speed factor is also, you've got to watch out for that. And just really, in general, just the drivers as well, you know. Well, Robin Pratt's on tonight, mate. Who knows? Lack of experience, but hey, gee, sometimes you might get all the luck in the world and sneak through, right? Oh, ho hopefully, but hopefully your palmy car takes it out tonight. Absolutely. All right, Ethan, the very best for the season, mate, and good luck when the uh, team's racing comes around for the for the minors. Yeah, sweet. Thanks for that. Okay, well done. Well, it's a family of Speedway, certainly, in the Manawa 2. There's the Rees. There's Peter Rees, the father, of course. Asher Rees in a super stock. Ethan Rees has started off in a stock car last year, mini stocks, and, as he mentioned, his new super stock is on the floor getting built. He'll have it here at Christmas. So the Rees family bring three standards or three stock cars to the track, plus three super stocks. Up goes the green, let's get out of here. The red pack is charging.
goes down the inside of Peter Rees. So Sun takes Dan out of turn number two. In heat number one over 12, this is lap number nine. They've got three to run. And here we go, the charge up into turn number one, Asher Rees. Peter Rees, they're leaning all over Josh Prentice at the moment. Down into turn number three, they're three wide. And they come out, it is Asher Rees leads. Brilliant bit of driving by the young fella. It is the Battle of the Rees. The Sun leads, Asher Rees, Peter Rees, Josh Prentice, Ricky Garth, Zach Harris, up into fifth now, Ike Haitapu, William Humphrey, seventh, Darrell Wallace. Down in front of the grandstand they go. It is game on, chicken flag time. Sensational race and Asher Rees takes it out. Oh, oh, it's going to be interesting back in the fence. Asher Rees beats Peter Rees. Josh Prentice, Ricky Garth. After race one, surprisingly, most of the field remained intact. Drama was to come with race two, eliminating some of the favoured drivers. Concrete floor serves as heat number two of the Rod and Pratt Memorial is underway. They're out of here. And Rod Tide, Robbie James on the outside. They're going to be followed through there by 611, in the hands of Scotty McIntosh. They power out of turn two. Big Pat charged an angry pack down into turn number three. Over to turn four. And they have they all got through there? I think they have. They're on lap three. William Humphreys, the new race leader. Robbie James. Where's he gone? But three, William Humphreys, 99 Ron Tyre. Then we go to Gavin Tanifar at number 75. Peter Rees is up into four. So on the points, it's Peter Rees from Asher Rees. They're the first two. William Humphreys on 65, one behind Asher Rees. But William Humphreys can't score any more points than he is now because he's the race leader. Comes up behind Mike Gaskin. There's a bit of a nudge on Tanny Farr and pushes him out towards the wall. Peter Rees down the inside. So tank against tank. And charging up behind them is Ethan Rees. And Peter Rees up in the second. Ron Ty tanks everywhere. They've done 10, they've got two to go. They're on lap number 11. So three ends in, William Humphreys, he's heading towards the checker. Oh, I've got the big park up down here in Pit Bend. They're gonna let them go to the flag. But uh, William Humphreys heading towards the checker. 2.59, uh oh, have we got a problem? 2.59 and 2.58, ironically. Neville Harrod and Gary Hobbs have a week coming together. So the chicken flag is out. William Humphreys wins it from Peter Rees, Gavin Tanifar. Then we have Asher Rees, Daryl Wallace, Josh Prentice, Ron Ty, Gary Davis, Alex Wilson, Ike Haitapu round out the 10. And now you look at the points with one race to go. Peter Rees tops the table on 70, Asher Rees on 69. So one point between father and son on 65, William Humphreys and Josh Prentice. 62 for Daryl Wallace, Gavin Tanifar on 60.
race of the night. The machine is pieces 12 lap, a heat three, the decider. And Peter Rees from the outside, one NZ. He's the, the early leader. Did the hard yards early on. He starts from the front row in the third and deciding heat. The man who's got the biggest trophy room in the world, when you talk stock cars, leads the end of lap number one of 12 laps. Zach Harrison is in second, Ike Hightapu. Then we go to Damien Mulcahy in his new tank. What a good looking jigger that is. Asher Rees is in fifth. Then we go to Neville Harrod, Gavin Tanifar, Robert Mason, Robbie Myers. Out back out in this one in number 15, the owner, trainer, driver of Machinery Specialist. Peter Rees, the Harpy V6 Commodore, cranking at the moment, way on his own, sitting on 106 points. Asher Rees on 102. And then we go back to Ike Hayatapu on 90. Oh, into the wall, William Humphreys here in turn number one. That is a big hit. And uh, steam pouring out from under the car of Ricky Garth here in turn number one. And there's a head on there. Mulcahy plows into William Humphreys. Gavin Tanifar goes in as well. Okay, here we go. Those new restarts working a treat. So one NZ, the race leader. Heat three, the machinery specialist, 12 lap up. Heat number three of the Robert Pratt Memorial. Peter Rees, Zach Harris, Asher Rees. So Peter on 106, Asher Rees on 103. So Peter Rees can't score any more. He's on the max. Asher Rees can only get another one. And then in third place, we would have Daryl Wallace and Josh Prentice at the moment, both on 92. But we've got a fair way to go. We're only half race distance. So one NZ, 119, 126. Peter Rees, Harris, Asher Rees. Then we go to Hautapu, Myers, Wallace, Tanifa, Mason, Mulcahy. Prentice rounding out the 10, ahead of McIntosh, Coley and Ron Ty. Asher Rees all over the back of Zach Harris, slots down the inside out of turn number two. Can he hold it? Got the two young guns going head for head at the moment. Asher Rees attacking Zach Harris. And they got Ron Ty ahead of them. So Peter Rees got two cars between him and the chasers. So starting from the front row, Peter Rees is making it look pretty easy peasy. He's about to complete lap number nine of the 12. Three to run to win the Robin Pratt Memorial. Asher Rees clambering over Zach Harris, still flicks down the inside, gives him a little up tap. Not enough to put him round. They're behind Ryan Ty. Down they charge into the bottom bear and the push is on here. Zach Harris controls it. So now they've got clear track. Asher Rees down the inside of Ron Ty. Is Ron Ty going to attack him? He's in a good position. Asher Rees, he's got too much grunt. Gets away. But while that was going on, Zach Harris was able to haul out a couple of links into the last lap they go. Peter Rees. Heading towards another title, another bit of silverware. Asher Rees attacking Zach Harris for second. Leans all over him, down the inside they go. Peter Rees is out front. Are we going to get a father-son? One, two. Down the inside, and he can nudge Zach Harris aside, Asher Rees. Peter Rees, he wins the he wins the Robin Pratt Memorial. Second home, it's going to be a double for the Rees family. Asher Rees is the runner-up. Zach Harris third over the line ahead of Ike Haitapu. Four laps it is, the flag drops, and they watch each other like hawks, and you can't attack off the grass. So uh, Daryl Wallace, as he gets the jump on Josh Prentice. So Josh Prentice's thinking didn't quite work out. Okay, now they're very, very evenly matched for speed. So 
Uh, now it just becomes a four lap dash, I would imagine. Josh Prentice, if he wants to get on the bottom step of the podium, he's got to give it more than 100%. He's got a sort of hope, I think, at the moment that Daryl Wallace makes an error. See, they're not closing the gap at all. So we'll just get a clock on this lap. It'll be a little bit of an indicator that that gap is, if you're out there in the car, of Josh Brent is horrendous here. And there's a tenth of a second on that lap is exactly a tenth of a second the difference. Doesn't sound much, but that gap just won't come down. And uh, Josh Brent has said, I've got to wait for him now. So it's his only hope is when he comes round. So uh, Daryl Wallace has been around long enough to do. There's a bit of a trap down here. So he's completed three laps. You see, Daryl Wall Wallace is uh, only got to get round over the finish line, where Josh Prince has got to go round twice. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, Daryl Wallace, will he come up and then just gun it? So uh, Josh Prince at least making it interesting. So here we go. This is the moment. And he gets the big shove down the inside. And Daryl Wallace streaks away. He's third. So Daryl Wallace, well driven. When the dust finally cleared, the podium was occupied by father and son combination, Peter Rees and Asher Rees in second place. Third spot, Manawatu champion, Darren Wallace, a previous winner of the trophy. That was the Robin Pratt Memorial, and a man who's won it several times before and won it again is Peter Rees. Pete, um, we mentioned earlier in the presentations about Robin Pratt, obviously... He was a quiet guy, but he was very efficient at what he did. And as I said to Trish, um, his uh, widow, earlier tonight, if he was looking down on that one, he would have thought it was um, worthy of a memorial. It's never easy, is it? It's always hard. Yeah, and in the last four or five years, it's got harder because the talent's picked up here in, in Palmy. Mm. But he, he, right, he'd be looking down, and he, he was a man of class. He'd come along, I think he won three men or two champs in a row. Mm. It's interesting that, you know, it's so rare to have a father and two sons out there together. I don't think it happens very often. But I guess there's an advantage. There's probably very little else spoken at home but Speedway and, and something new on the car. Let's try this. Would this work if we did this or increase the stagger or it must... And you know, you're doing it 24-7, aren't you? I mean, you're building, racing, and the guys are in the shed and racing as well. Mm. Oh, it's mayhem. But hey, it keeps them off the street. It keeps uh, keeps them in a sport that's a fa very family sport. Yeah. Keeps them. It's, it's it's good for us all. Yeah. When you know, when I was young when I had them, and to me, it's paying off right now. Yeah. Well, mate, the very best. Uh, have a wonderful season. Congratulations again on the Robin Pratt tonight. Yeah, no worries. Thank all you. the best. Thank you. Peter Rees, he's the uh, the dad of the two boys. So there's three Rees, and I suspect we're going to see more trophies around the country with the Rees name on it, certainly this season and for the seasons to come.